But first, before we get to that story, everyone, the latest on that huge fire at the Enterprise, uh, Star Enterprise Refinery in St. James Parish. Take a look at where it's happening. We have a map for you. The refinery is very close to the Sunshine Bridge near the town of Convent, Louisiana. That's southeast of Baton Rouge. State police and Texaco officials are still monitoring what was a tremendous fire sparked by an explosion. Channel 2's Byron Henderson has been at the scene all this evening. He brought us the first live report around 8 o'clock this evening. Is the fire under control at this hour, Byron? Any plant officials tell us they pretty much have the fire contained to the immediate area where it started. And now state police tell us they have no plans to evacuate the surrounding area. This was the scene about four hours ago when a small explosion and enormous fire took over a section of the Star Enterprise plant near Donaldsonville. The fire happened in a part of the plant known as the H oil unit. The equipment there processes heavy residual crude oil into diesel and fuel oil. At this point, there's no estimate of the damage and no reports of injuries to employees. There were three people who were here on a blood drive that went home and complained about some uh, uh, their throats being sore and uh, we advised them to go to the hospital. The plant functions primarily as a gasoline refinery. Except for the section of the plant where the fire started, there's been very little effect on plant operations. The average is about 225,000 barrels a day, uh, but the capacity has been diminished about 10%. Now, right now, plant officials are monitoring the air for any possible toxic releases. The only possibility, they tell us, is sulfur dioxide in the burning diesel fuel oil. We'll have a full wrap-up of this story tomorrow morning on TuneIn. Back to you, Annie. Okay, Byron, hang in there. Thank you very much. Channel 2 News has learned that a criminal investigation is underway into a toxic exposure at another area plant, this one in Plaquemine. Nearly 150 workers at the Georgia Gulf plant were exposed to mustard gas three months ago. Even now, no one knows how the chemical got into the plant. Some workers were injured by the agent that can cause cancer and other health problems. Federal officials are investigating, and the company is cooperating. Just a few minutes ago, you had to be shocked by some of the scenes you saw during the presentation.